Hello and welcome to Vector Touch Plus. My name is Martin Perhiniak. Today I'm going to show you how to use text wrap in InDesign. This feature is very powerful and you can do several techniques to achieve the same effect. You can use either channels or paths or just simply detect edges in InDesign. In this tutorial I'm going to show you all of these techniques so you will be able to choose whichever you prefer for your own workflow. But what is text wrap first of all? In this text frame you can see we have text which will always automatically change whenever I move either the text frame around or the images around it. So it makes sure text wrap that my text will never overlap the images but it will try to uh, follow the edges of the images. So if I move this image around you can see it changes and also I have a text wrap set up for the other image uh, of the girl which may also make sure that text won't be visible on top of her only on the side. So if I move the text frame to the right you can see once again text is visible there or anywhere else apart from on top of her. So how can we do this? Let me first of all show you in Photoshop how can you set up something like this. So if we hold double click on this image then we will go to Photoshop and here we can see what did I use uh, to be able to have this effect. I saved an alpha channel. So this is the mask uh, which will tell InDesign the areas that can be used for the text and the area which can't be used for the text. So whatever you see here in the alpha channel in white is the area that won't be uh, that InDesign won't be able to use for the text and the black is the editable area so where wherever the text can go. So how did I do this? Let me just delete this channel and go back to the layers and choose the quick selection tool and, and with this tool I just quickly click and drag over her uh, body and create a selection. So let me just finish this. And uh, I don't want to be very precise with this selection. I just want to roughly make a selection. So I hold down Alt when I want to remove from the selection and I just simply need to click and drag to add to the selection. So something like that will work. And if I want to save this as a channel, I just have to go to the channels panel and here click on create new layer or new channel. So that will create an alpha channel. And now I just need to make sure that this selection is saved into this channel. So I'm going to press D first of all, which will have uh, white as my foreground color and then I press Alt backspace to fill that selection in uh, with white. If I save this and go back to uh, InDesign, the changes will update and as you can see the text frame already works. But there's one more thing that you have to make sure you set up in InDesign and that is the text wrap itself. So if I have this image selected, you can see I already have the text wrap set up. But what if I start with no text wrap? Then my text frame and the text inside the frame can overlap the image. So wherever I move it, it will stay exactly the same. But as soon as I, I select the image and choose one of these text wrap features, then the text won't be able to be visible on these areas. And the feature which I need is this third one called wrap around object shape. If I select that and choose type alpha channel, then it will find that channel I saved in Photoshop and then my text will be able to go around that uh, edges or follow those edges. But what if I change it and not alpha channel and choose for example bounding box then all the text visible on the page will disappear because bounding box means that the whole image frame will be used for masking and not that channel that I saved. So it's very important that if you save an alpha channel, then make sure you set the type for alpha channel and also choose the specific channel that you saved. It's always good to name these alpha channels because you might want to use more than one on the same image. 
So in these cases, what I usually do is here in the alpha uh, channel or the channels panel in Photoshop, I name these and I'm going to call this girl. So even though I have the image selected here and I don't see any indication of that selection anymore, if, I if this Photoshop file is saved and I go back to InDesign, then I will be able to see the alpha channel's name here as well. The same technique can be done with the uh, pen tool or pods as well in Photoshop. So let me just select this image again or double click on it and delete this channel or maybe just turn it off. And then uh, let me just go to the layers and I'm going to use the pen tool. And from the pen tool, we can select many uh, different options. If you're not familiar with the pen tool, you can use the free form pen tool as well. I'm going to do this now. So I'm just very quickly and roughly drawing around the shape, the silhouette. So something like that. And then I select this path and go to the paths panel. And here you can see we already have a work path. We just need to double click on this and again call this girl path or girl or whatever you want to save. So it's already saved. Now let's save the same document and go back to InDesign. And what happens if we change the contour type of the uh, text wrap, which is set to wrap around object shape. So what if we change the type to Photoshop path and we choose the girl path? As you can see, it works similarly but in this case, the text is only visible on top of her and not around her. So what did we do wrong in this case? What I need to do is go back to Photoshop, select this path and make sure it's set to combine shapes. So here with the path selection tool, I selected the path and set it to combine shapes. Okay, as you can see, if I change it to subtract shape, here in this thumbnail in the path panel, uh, also the image changes. So it's very important to have this option turned on. Save the Photoshop file. And then if we go back to InDesign, now it works the same as the channel used to work. So if we select the image, now we can either use the Photoshop path or the alpha channel, and we will have almost exactly the same effect. Another useful feature is the detect edges when you don't have to set up any masking or uh, any special features because you already have transparency uh, in an image or maybe you have a white background or black background, something easy to separate. In these cases, you can use this feature in the contour options called detect edges. So what if I set this back to no text wrap? So on this image, there's no text wrap, then the image will be on top of the text and we won't be able to read it. But then if we set it also to wrap around object shape and choose detect edges, then InDesign will be automatically add the text wrap around this image. And you can also use the offset to just separate the text a little bit further away from the image. So it's still using the silhouette, but it just adds that offset and uh, just keeps the text a little bit further away from the image. So that's all what you need to know about text wrap and uh, using images and text together to create an interesting composition. I hope you will find these techniques useful and uh, that you will join me next time as well here on Vector Thoughts Plus. Thanks a lot for your attention.